Nyaka State Forest. And I didn't come last night because the sign said at the entrance that it closed at dark, that this forest closes at dark and they have a gate up there. The gate was open, but I wasn't gonna take any chances of being back here after dark and getting caught behind a closed gate. So we're back this morning. It's probably about 10.30. It's starting to get hot. Uh, it's a thick, pretty thick forest over here. There's been lots of sightings in Mayaka State Forest. Um, I'll leave a couple of links in this video down in the description. Local sightings um, around here. And I'm gonna take a chance, even though I forgot my tennis shoes. And I have no mosquito repellent. To maybe get on one of these op more open trails, not so dense. desolate forest too. There's there's nobody around. I did see one truck going into the campground. But that's it. I mean, I haven't seen a soul. Of course, who would be out here in this kind of, you know, heat and mosquitoes doing any hikes or anything? And not many people. But, um, there have been, I've seen several, several tree breaks, but they are all due to the tornado, or not the tornado, the hurricane from last September. Because um, they're all in the same direction, a lot of bent trees going in the same direction. So finding any structures here is not going to be an easy thing to do. Is this a parking area? It is. I don't know if it has any. We'll park here for just a minute. We'll check this little area out, maybe sit and listen. And um, I'm gonna saturate my body with um, SPF 50. There is a little trail right there. And we're gonna give it a test and see how the mosquitoes are and how long I can stand it. Please check this little area out in general for a minute. And I know of another place. I'm going to go to the very end of this road here. Um, it's a dense forest. And last time, last year as a matter of fact, when I went in there and did a tree knock, I got an immediate response. So we're going to go back there real quick as well. The heat is intense. I'm saturated in sunscreen, but... I'm wearing flip-flops. Unfortunately, I forgot my tennis shoes, so I don't know how this is going to work out. There could be fire ants. I mean, I'm already burnt in the heat on my skin. It's on fire. I'm not sure this is even a trail. An overgrown one at that. Oh, shade. Well, so far, so good on that. No mosquitoes. Oh, look at this. What is that? Somebody has built some sort of structure here. Hmm. I'm not familiar with Florida woods, so I don't know 
what kind of critters could be lurking around here. This is weird. It's a makeshift shelter. But for what, I don't know. Very strange. Well, it's quiet. So there's our first oddity. <laughs> I don't know of anybody that would try to do a homeless camp in a state forest, but you never know. I've seen plenty of homeless camps around my mom's house in the little wooded areas in the neighborhood. So. can find a tree knocker I'll do one and I know these trails back here go on for Probably four to five miles. I know the North Loop does, but I have no idea what trail this is. And I'm not going to go too far in this heat. Oh, what Oh gosh, I don't know what that was. Some kind of bug. What kind of tree am I going to knock on? A palm tree? <laughs> That's not going to work. Alright, that's getting... Seems to end right here. Definitely not walking through that tall grass, not knowing what's in there. So we will retreat, go back, and check out the wooded area that I was at last time where I got the immediate response. Here you can kind of see how the trees are all leaned to one side and there's a lot of breaks that are leaning that way. It's all storm damage. See? But there's an interesting arch back there. I mean, could it be storm damage? Maybe. I guess so. see 
it on camera like I can right here. Right there. came out unscathed from that little trail. No bikes, nothing like that. I guess maybe all this SPF 50 I have on might be a mosquito repellent. Let's hope so. Let's hope I can walk in these woods down here at least for a couple minutes. God knows I don't want to catch malaria from all Bill Gates GMO mosquitoes that he released in Florida and Texas. some private property. I've seen signs um, of private property on this side that I'm showing you, which is kind of strange in a state forest, but and the fact that they close at dark is strange as well. Maybe they don't, maybe it's too dangerous for people to be coming back here and hanging out after dark. I don't know. There's always a reason behind everything. It's dry this year. Last year it was very swampy. Some good knocking sticks around here, at least. Yeah, that'll work. Just gotta find a good pitch. Now I hear mosquitoes. y'all they must not like my sunscreen which is awesome that one's too dead wow trail might not be navigable. I don't know. Really can't tell which way it goes. All right, I gotta find a good stick. Okay, I found one.
something over there. Nothing very loud. I'm not even going to be able to navigate the trail. You can't make it out at all. That's sad. I think they may have it marked. I'll go on a little further. Yeah, I just don't see, I don't see the trail here at all. I don't see any more markers. So I guess I better not do it. There's just too much storm damage to make out where the trail is. You could barely make it out last time I was here, but this is a beautiful, beautiful pine forest. Not so much now. Well, pretty uneventful. It is a lot of the time. That's a little bit interesting. The wind's picking up. Maybe we'll see if we can find another area on the way out since this one's too devastated to follow the trail. This trail might not even be not supposed to be open because it has caution tape on this tree and caution tape on that tree. And I don't know if they would have just taken it. I don't know why they would have it open if you can't traverse it. It doesn't make any sense at all. I do know that this state forest was closed right after the hurricane. I'm not exactly sure for how long, but I would imagine it was quite some time. I'd imagine probably every bit of this, these roads were covered in debris.
debris. You know, the campsites were probably pretty much destroyed. Um, and it may even, all this damage may even keep skunk apes from being active around here, you know? But it's getting a little bit too hot for me. I don't think I'm going to get back on any trails right now. Probably going to go find some water. It's a little bit after 11. Uh, I appreciate you all coming along with me to Mayaka State Forest. Uh, at least you got a sneak peek of it. And I'm going to leave a couple links in the description of some sightings they've had here. And let you decide. Later, y'all.